I hope you enjoyed that Davin party montage. I'm gonna go through all the individual elements I created for the party and hopefully inspire you to have your own Davin party. Have your own artsy, craftsy, get together with your friends and just share in that creative process because it's so much fun and it's just a fun, unique, uh, very creative and personal way to uh, I guess, party with your friends. <laughs> uh, and it can be very relaxing. I think the girls had a really good time. So basically the first thing I created were watercolor placemats. And uh, no, you can't really eat off them. I mean, you could, but <laughs> they're more just a big page full of prompts. Now this is quite a large watercolor placemat. You could make them smaller. You could make them straight up letter sized uh, so they'd scan in really easily because what I did was digitize uh, the, the finished product that the girls created and I made party favors out of them. So I'll show you that later in the video but the first thing I wanted to show you was that uh, just making a page full of prompts can be a really great way to encourage creativity out of people I made them design their own washi strip I made them letter their own alphabet I mean I didn't make them I just offered them the prompt but uh, if you go on Google images or on Instagram and just search for bullet journaling uh, you'll get a lot of great ideas about different prompts you can use to uh, inspire that creativity so you know draw your face favorite movies favorite books etc 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 uh, so yeah, that was the first element that I created. The second were the photo booth props. And these were basically uh, anything that I would draw in my journal, like on a girl, on a journal girl. I wanted to make a photo booth prop. So obviously the first were uh, spider-like lashes. <laughs> Always out of lash. So I made these uh, photo booth props and what I did was just go to Target and buy some that were already pre-made. And that was just because it was easier for me to uh, stick them on top of what was already there. I just had to cut off the back a little bit and some like the glasses I just used as a template to make new glasses and I'm, saying, I'm using the same watercolor cardstock that I did before you can use any cardstock I'd probably recommend cardstock because it's more sturdy and uh, the props will last with uh, some handling but yeah crowns glasses lashes I made a choker and uh, they're all just watercolor so anything I would put on a journal girl I kind of made into a, a party photo booth prop type situation <laughs> and uh, like I said it's as simple as going and buying a bunch of props 
on sticks already or just go and get the stick and put them straight on. You just need to glue it on the back. You could washi tape it on the back if you don't have glue. But it's just really, really simple. This flower crown, I kept it really loose. I kept it really sketchy. I, uh, I just used the same ideas that I would in my art journal. So that was kind of the feeling I wanted to go for with this party. I wanted it to be like one of my, you know, fun, colorful spreads just exploded into a party. So um, I think also personalizing a lot of these things is just, uh, first of all, it's enjoyable. You really enjoy the process because I know you're all creative people and you like that anyway. But second of all, uh, it's just fun. It's fun to see uh, all these party elements be so specific to you and uh, just be so personalized and customizable. Alternatively, you could just have these ready at the party and you could get your guests to make them and then they could have photos with their own props because, uh, I mean, maybe not everyone likes those spider lashes. <laughs> I definitely do. But um, yeah, I'm just using a bunch of Jane Davenport mixed media stuff. I use the watercolor. I've got washi tape there, the paint over pens. You could do this with marker. You could do it with pencil. You can do it with paint marker. You could do it with anything with the paper pads. Um, yeah, I mean, really, the, the idea for most of this stuff is that your imagination is, is the limit. Just go for gold, make it personalized, make it unique to you, make it unique to Jane, make it unique to whatever you found on Google Images. I mean, just have fun with it. The whole party was just personalized, was just creative, and uh, just full of color, because that's, that's how I like to celebrate. If you've seen any of the videos where uh, my face is involved, I'm usually wearing a shirt full of color. So uh, it just makes sense that I would party that way. And uh, yeah, basically the, the party was, was super fun and the girls just, you know, sat down and enjoyed themselves with some galaxy donuts. Uh, I thought that would really fit the theme. Um, and then they just created. They created with uh, everything that I had laying out, all the Jane Davenport mixed media products. They enjoyed learning uh, how to use new mediums. The girls are pretty creative. I mean, they blew me away. I knew that they had, I knew that they had talent before they came over here because that's why I asked them, but I had no idea uh, that they would exceed all of my expectations. And the stuff they came up with was just so great. That's why I wanted to scrapbook it all. And uh, I mean, if you're gonna have your friends over, by all means, let them take it home. But uh, for, this, for this project, I just decided to scrapbook it at the end, just so you could see uh, that it, they can become great memories. And, um, and then you can digitize and make party favors if you want to. So the unicorn party hats, these were really, really simple as well. The same idea as the, the photo booth props. I got these little, I mean, they're little. They're like as big as my hand. And my hands are little. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess they're little for a man. Why am I saying this? Uh, they, uh, I just used the template I unfolded the party hat and I used it as a template to make new party hats. And then I had these uh, unicorn straws that I found from Target. I mean, Target really came through for this project. <laughs> so I just took the unicorns off the top and sliced a little, uh, a little insert at the top just to glue them in. I uh, hole punched so I could put the, um, what's it called? The string, the elastic back in. And then I had all these really, really great iridescent uh, curling ribbon that I just decided to add on for more, you know, whimsical unicorn curly mane, all that fabulous, <laughs> colorful, magical goodness. So uh, I put that on top and uh, I think they turned out really cute. I love that they're small. Um, Jacqueline took hers home and put it on the dog, so <laughs> that was fun. I'll tell you what, the hardest part about all these projects is actually not putting them together, it's keeping them secret. So I'm so excited to finally share this with you guys because it's been a, a big labor of love. I love to put everything I've got into these projects and um, you know, sometimes not everything works. This glitter glue, you know, I, I couldn't stand up the hats because it would run, I, add, I added way too much, but I just fixed it up with, with a little tissue. And you know what, at the end of the day, that's how I create in my journal. So if that's how it was gonna turn out, then that's how it was gonna turn out. Uh, the balloon string art was something that I was just toying with. Uh, all, I, like everything, you can create it however you want to create it. You can personalize it in any kind of way. You don't have to do any of these elements. You could just get people over and enjoy creating together. But that's what I want you to kind of do. I want you to share in this with your friends. And uh, because 
I think a lot of the girls were feeding off each other and their creativity, you know, they were helping each other with products, if one knew how it worked, she would explain it to the other girl, and uh, you know, I was there to help as well, so you, it's a great learning experience, if anything, because, you know, we don't have all the answers ourselves, and some people are better at watercolour, and some people are better at using pencils, and some people are better at uh, mastering washi tape, <laughs> so uh, it's great just to share in that together and uh, share your wisdom, share your knowledge. Uh, encourage and inspire I guess so these were just circles they just cut out some circles and hole punched and if you just cut a little uh, a little line to each of those circles you can just slot them straight onto the string and uh, it's a little bit of a you know it's a little bit of a lost detail but I like those details I like things that you know aren't completely obvious all the time you know Steve always says to me God is in the details so you know I wanted to bring these decorative, personalized, creative elements to uh, just all areas of the party, all aspects. So I had some more of these party hats that I didn't use as uh, templates, and I wanted to have them as skirts for these little uh, little ladies that were just flying off the ribbons. So um, I just made the little bodies. I used the Jane Davenport rub-ons to, uh, to give them faces, just to skip a step, because you know I like to... <laughs> You know, I like to cut corners, so I, I just used that. I made these little girls look like they were uh, holding on to the string and like flying off, kind of like they fell out of the hot air balloon. <laughs> um, but yeah, just different elements. You can go nuts with it, you could cover the whole string with it, or you could just put one off there holding onto the balloon. Uh, anything you want, but I think it's a fun, uh, kitschy little touch. You know, it's a little unexpected. People be like, where'd you get that? And you say, I made it. <laughs> and feel good about yourself. Uh, but yeah, so all I did was just put them on the backing because I wasn't going to draw the back. I didn't need to go that far. I love how I'm talking about details and I totally cut, cut out drawing the back. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just put them on colored cardstock. So if they flipped around, they'd still look pretty. And then I just cut a little slice at the top of those uh, party hats and just slotted those girls in. I didn't even use any glue to make these uh, to make these elements of the, the balloon string art. That's what I called them. I couldn't come up with a better term. What would you guys call it? I have no idea what I should have called that. I had these uh, massive latex balloons that were filled with confetti, so I went and got those blown up at Party City. Uh, I got them from Target. I guess basically everything I got uh, that's additional to the Jane Davenport range, I got from Target. So um, if, you're, if you're looking for any of this stuff, just head on over there. I think most of it's on sale now. And you just slot them on the strings and then add them to the balloons when they're blown up. And it was super cute. So uh, the Daven Party banner, I wanted to make a banner because why not? And uh, I use that watercolor cardstock again. All the offcuts that I have from when I make other projects. Uh, you know, I don't like to waste paper, especially when it's expensive, uh, or expe especially when it's great quality. So um, I just made a banner, and it's super, super simple. Make one banner, one pennant, flag, and just copy it a bunch of times for whatever you need to spell out. And then I use some PBO masking fluid. Uh, you can, if you don't have masking fluid, you can totally just watercolor them all and then go over it with a paint marker or maybe just a regular marker, depending on what you want it to look like. But I liked that, uh, you know, the white, the white letters popping from the, the watercolor background. So I let all that dry and then I just went in with the Jane Davenport Brights palette in the watercolors. And I just went uh, from left to right, top to bottom, and just uh, mixed those colors in the order that they are in the palette. Because, you know, why reinvent the wheel? It's already a great palette, so I just wanted to use it straight up, as it were. And uh, yeah, I just I watercolored the whole thing, and in a second you'll see me uh, peel off the masking fluid. I didn't even mind that some of the colors, you know, aren't super complementary and might have, uh, you know, blended in a funny way, like that pink and green, I was like, wow, this is going to be a really beautiful brown. Um, but, you know, it didn't really matter. In the end, it actually looked great. It's really, really simple to do. I just hole punched the sides. Oh, here you can see me peeling off the masking fluid. Make sure you wait till it's dry, because I did smudge a bit of that uh, watercolor around, and um, you want to use a really heavy-duty cardstock for this, because it's a lot of wet media, and uh, you don't want to be pulling up, you know, fibers of the paper, because the, uh, the masking fluid got stuck to it. So just some watercolor cardstock will do, some really heavyweight, uh, heavy duty stuff. And uh, look at all that color pooling. I love that. Look at the purples. I'm just like taken away with my own video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so then I just put some uh, hole punch the sides of everything and put that iridescent ribbon through and just 
threaded them all together. You know, it's not super neat, it's not super precise. I didn't make it so that, you know, every piece of ribbon faced the same way and there was no crinkles in it. I just went for it. And, uh, and that's basically because I said from the start, this party is going to be like an art journal page that just burst into a big celebration. And uh, I create that way, so, I, you know, it would be inauthentic for me to start doing things neat now. <laughs> Uh, and then I scrapbooked the party. My goodness, this was my favorite part. Um, I, I felt bad because I did want to give the girls their watercolor uh, sheets. At the same time, I don't really know what they would have done with it at home because these girls are really, uh, you know, art journalists. They're, they, they have creative bones in their body, believe me. They're full of creative bones. But uh, it's a big, big, uh, it was a big cardstock. So I didn't want them to, uh, to feel like they had to take it if they didn't want to. And, uh, and I did have plans to digitize it and make it party favors. You can see there, I've actually already at this point digitized it and I've printed them onto sticker sheets. So everything that they've done, I've, uh, I've made stickers of it. And that's what I used to give them uh, in, in the party favors. And I just stuck on everything, everything from the party, all the things they filled out, the gorgeous uh, creations that they came up with. This is Caitlin's page. That, uh, that suitcase up in the top right corner is just stunning. She did an incredible job, but you know, I already knew Caitlin was very talented in this area. I've seen all of her uh, her brush lettering and scripting, so uh, I knew Caitlin would do a really, really great job. And then they all surprised me because she did much better than I ever could have expected. And they were so committed to it. They were so dedicated. I, uh, you know, I totally expected them to come over and was just like, you know, you don't have to fill out the whole thing. Just enjoy yourself, have fun. And they wanted to fill out the entire thing and they wanted to use all the products and know how it worked. So uh, I think that just speaks volumes for how fun uh, getting creative is with people and uh, it's just a different type of party I mean you can do it you can do it with a glass of wine or you can do it with a coffee in the morning it just could be anything <laughs> um, so yeah this was the the placemat that iridescent placemat that was not the placemat sorry the table cover um, I, I just used the table cover and put it in the journal. This is my big coffee table scrapbook. Uh, so I don't typically uh, stick things down, you know, flush in this scrapbook because it always kind of stays closed and gets, you know, flicked through. It's pretty heavy duty, so it'll, uh, they'll flatten out and it'll stay nice in there. Um, but yeah, I just keep this one really loose and really fun. And I thought it was just a great way. And you know what? Uh, you can use everything that they put in there uh, if your friends come over and you're, they're about to have a birthday or something, they've basically given you everything they like in these watercolor uh, placemat prompts. <laughs> they've told me all the movies and books they like, they've told me uh, the places they want to go, and uh, and all the things that they enjoy. So uh, it's a great reference if you're, if you're out of ideas and want to get someone for their birthday. <laughs> I like to think of it as like a personal spread of, uh, this is Haley, so it's, you know, it's a personal spread of what Haley's about and what Haley enjoys. It's just a really fun thing to look at too. I mean, look at all the colors. It's incredible. I pulled apart the photo booth props and stuck those in. Jacqueline used that flower crown, so I stuck it on Jacqueline's page. Uh, Caitlin used the, the flower glasses, so I stuck that on Caitlin's page. Uh, the things from the, the um, what are they called? This is the balloon string art. I just ripped them apart and put them in there. I mean, the only thing I didn't stick in this book were the girls themselves. So <laughs> the whole party is completely scrapbooked and it's a great memory for me to have and just look through. So I'll show you a bit of the, uh, a bit of the close ups on these pages and you can have a look at all the great work that the girls did. So uh, enjoy the close ups and uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. They're stunning. The girls did amazing. I can't say any more than that. And then I'll come back and talk about the uh, party favors in a second. we 
good right <laughs> they did a really great job you could see the little stickers in there so here's the party favors I couldn't go through all the uh, the digital process because it's super long and involved and it's a lot of Photoshop but you can find fun and interesting ways to do it yourself especially if you create it on a uh, US letter size paper it'd be much easier but I just made them all stickers and everyone's was unique and everyone's was uh, personalized because they had created it I turned the little washi strips into actual was washi strips um, and then just packaged it all together. I found some uh, Faber Castell markers from Target for four bucks. So I gave them two each. There's a moleskin Kaya book under there and, uh, and just a packet of all the things that they created turned into stickers. So I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope you're inspired to have your own Davin party and get super creative and super personalized with it. And, uh, and yeah, I wish you could have all come. I wish we could have just done a massive conference and everyone could have had a, had a Davin party together. But uh, for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah get inspired enjoy it was super fun it will always be super fun okay thanks for watching everyone bye